Good morning, welcome to Wednesday, bringing to you the top 10 stories across Nigeria newspapers. Today, Wednesday, July 10, 2024, as collated by Hamid, and I am Esther Ajayi. Samoa Agreement. National Assembly waits in. Reps ask federal government to suspend implementation. Call for investigation. Knox, kudos, greets creation of Ministry of Livestock Development. A Yeti Allah, Sunny Elstinabu, Laulu Akonde, orders kick. The creation of a Ministry of Livestock Development by President Bola Tinubu has been greeted with knocks and kudos from different quarters. To stimulate economy, federal government intends to take second $2 billion loan backed by crude oils. Tinubu Obi Atiku celebrates Sheikh Dahiru Bauchi on his 100th birthday. President Bola Metinubu has extended his best wishes and congratulations to renowned Islamic leader Sheikh Dahiru Usman Bauchi on attaining the milestone age of 100. How funds were moved from CBN through a mafialist wife, EFCC witness says. A sordid detail of how funds were moved from the Central Bank of Nigeria through Zenith Bank to some accounts linked to Mrs. Margaret Emifele, wife of a former governor of the CBN, Godwin Emifele, as emerged. Only three of 22 Nigerian airports profitable, says Farm, fuel scarcity, filling stations to operate longer hours to aid petroleum supply, says NNPC. As demand declines, federal government hopes to raise 300 billion naira from July 2024 bond auction. Yamal makes history as Spain beats France to qualify for Euro's 2024 finals. You are ungrateful if you text SIN after receiving financial help. Act of Fumes. Veteran and Hollywood actor Kanayo O. Kanayo has expressed concern about the rise in the practice of ingratitude and stressed the need of gratitude in relationship. That's all we have for you today. Read more of the news on all our social media platforms coming from the mattress. Do have a good Wednesday.